Remember when Toyota got sued or at least forced to remove its ads from the atmosphere for lying about their hybrids being perpetual motion machines that would just keep driving forever? Well, yeah, that was just a whole lot of nonsense. But this, well, this is real. This is kind of a way to turn your car into a solar car for a very small sum of money. Guys, after I made this video, I just looked up. Apparently this qualifies for this 30% EV rebate. Uh, if Trump gets in, that might be canceled. But anyway, apparently it does. So these are really cheap and it's worthwhile getting. As a result, apparently um, tens of thousands have been sold in pre-sale within the first 45 days. I have no interest. I couldn't care less if you buy one. Well, I could. I think you should because it's good for the environment. But in terms of financially, I don't benefit at all. So I'm not spruiking this product. I'm only telling you about it because I'm really excited by this. I think this could start a real revolution. People are really writing this, this thing off. They're saying, oh, it's not really going to do the job. That's actually completely wrong. I've looked at the comments. This has been posted on social media, you know, on Facebook, X. I keep thinking Twitter, but X, wherever it else, wherever the kids go these days. I can't remember the platforms they use, Snapchat and all this stuff. Anyway, apparently this has been posted and I've seen some comments. I saw them, most of them on Facebook. I looked at them as thousands of comments. Oh, this is irrelevant. It's only going to give you this much range. I'm thinking, yeah, exactly. That's all the average person uses on the average day. So in theory, all you need to run this EV, if you live in an apartment block, is a sunny place to stick your car. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And in my opinion, the future is here. I really think if you live in an apartment block, this is the perfect solution. Park your car on the street during the day, uh, somewhere in a car park, whatever. There's many places where you can park during the day. And as long as you live in somewhere relatively sunny, it doesn't, by the way, you can get charged without sun. Um, it just won't charge as much. You'll get less, less charging. But... I mean, does this thing work? Is it really good? I think it is. And here's why. Go Sun's EV solar charger is so simple. Um, you can stick it on the top of your roof. You can just drive around like normal. And then when you want to use it, roll it out. As you can see, it rolls out really, really quickly and plug it into your car and you get a charge. Yes, it's true. It's not going to give you super fast charging. That's not really what you're after here, though. I don't think that's really what's needed. If you actually have a look at the average range driven by, average amount of distance driven by Americans, Australians, people in Europe, they actually don't drive that far on a daily basis. It's only around about 25 miles for people who live in cities. And really, I mean, 80% of the population live in cities. So for 80% of the population, this, this charger could give you 50 to 80% of your daily needs, maybe even 100% in some cases. In an era where sustainability and innovation are driving the future of transportation, GoSun and other companies, they're not, these guys are not the only ones, but this one is, is one that's really stuck out to me. I've introduced what I think is a game changer for EV owners. Now, efficiency of solar panels is quite an interesting thing. If you look at the efficiency of a solar panel back in say 1980, when you could buy them, they were massively more expensive than they are now. Efficiency was about one third of what they are today. In other words, the efficiency of solar panels has tripled and the price has come down by about, I think about 98%. I mean, just astronomical declining price of solar panels. Perovskite solar panels as well um, actually have theoretically much, much, a much better ability to get sun, the sun's energy and to use it. So they're in theory, much more efficient. And many, many companies are on the precipice of mass manufacturing perovskite solar panels, flexible solar panels that would be more efficient than the panels on this, than the, um, the rollout system on this roof. Those will come within the next few years. And then what you're seeing here, it's possible that the efficiency of this system that you can see here could improve by 50% or more over the next decade. I think by the time we're looking at, say, 2030, people are not going to be saying, I live in an apartment block or I can't charge or this, that, that whatever, coming up with some kind of, some kind of excuse. They'll just go, well, I'll just grab myself one of these and I've got my own portable power station. This is really in many ways a revolutionary charging solution because yeah, you can manufacture one of these things yourself. Some people do it, but most people are not going to do that. They just want to buy the product and make sure it works. The GoSun EV solar charger is a compact solar panel system engineered to fit any EV 
or hybrid vehicle with a roof rack or a luggage rack. Whether you drive a compact car, an SUV, a pickup truck, a ute, whatever, doesn't really matter. It actually would be better in a pickup truck because you could put it in the bed of the truck. Regardless so, it delivers around 1,200 watts of solar power when fully expanded. That translates to potentially 30 miles of driving per day. That's nearly 50 kilometers, guys. That's more than the average Australian does on a, in daily, on a daily basis. So if you had a good sunny day and in many places here in Australia, and many, or well, 90% of the world's population lives on the Sun Belt, so yeah, 90% of the world could use one of these efficiently. Imagine, um, you know, being in, uh, I don't know, a lot of people think, um, you know, poor people can't afford EVs in Africa and um, Indonesia and poorer countries. Uh, people don't generally buy EVs, well, they don't generally buy cars. So imagine if you're driving your electric motor scooter and they're massively gaining a popularity in the, um, the developing world. You could just use one of these to power it, not have to pay for gasoline for petrol. It'd actually be a massive net benefit because charging a battery in a motor scooter, it's much smaller. So I reckon it'd be a cool, op- a cool business idea to have a, a motor scooter or a motorbike version of one of these that you can kind of roll out covering the top of your bike and it would cover it from the sun really nicely and charge the battery at the same time. Continuous charging capability. Even when the solar charger is closed, it still outputs a staggering 200 watts. So your vehicle continues to charge throughout the day. This continuous charging capability means you can keep your EV topped up whether you're at home, work, or exploring off-grid locations. So that's another key point. If you went camping, right, people say EVs, they're not good for camping, all this baloney. But think about it. If you're out camping, you usually just um, hanging out, right? You're not usually driving your vehicle around. You you know, sitting in the river, you're um, having some fun, going for bushwalks, that kind of thing, playing tennis, whatever you do on a camp. You know, I remember I remember playing tennis, I remember hiking, I remember swimming. Then your car's sitting there, and are you manufacturing gasoline while you sit there, or hydrogen for those muppets who have bought hydrogen cars, or diesel? You know, of course you're not, right? But imagine you, you camp somewhere for a week. It's generally when you go camping, it's sunny because you're picking that that times with the times when it's good weather. So you're getting say 30 miles of range per day. That would mean over the course of seven days, you might end up with 150 miles of range added to your vehicle for nothing. That's a lot better than paying what, 100 or $200 for the fuel, right? And well, of course, this is so much more convenient. You don't have to go to a petrol station or a gas station. Equipped with multiple power points, including one 10 volt AC, 12 volt DC, and USB A and C ports, the GoSun EV solar charger is more than just an EV charger. You can actually power many different devices, from laptops and smartphones to portable refrigerators, camping gear, and pretty much anything you can imagine. A cordless drill, even. This makes it a, a well, incredibly versatile system. It's also really easy to install, and it's pretty lightweight. One of the standout features of the GoSun EV solar charger is its ease of installation. The system comes pre-assembled and can be mounted on your vehicle's roof rack in about 20 minutes. It weighs, well, not much at all. I'm really surprised. It only weighs 32 kilograms. That's less than 70 pounds. It's lightweight. It's portable. You can take it to other vehicles, so you don't have to have it on one vehicle. You can move it from one to another. If you sold your car, you can move it across. It's also apparently quite durable. It's constructed from durable materials such as ABS plastic, ETFE coated monocrystalline solar panels, and aluminium are used in the construction. The Ghost Hunt EV solar charger apparently is built to last for a long time. It's not something you just have for 12 months. It's designed to withstand speeds up to 100 miles an hour and winds of up to 30 miles an hour. Various different kind of weather is fine. Guys, I don't recommend if you get one of these driving at 100 miles an hour, I think you'd be mad to do that but you can if you really want to. Apparently, this is available for delivery in early 2025. And it's going to become really popular, I think, with a lot of EV owners. I, I don't see why you wouldn't get one. I think it makes sense. You can apparently secure a deposit on one of these for $100. I'll put a link in the description. I get nothing from this. I'm not, not in any way invested in this um, product. Wouldn't mind being, though. I wouldn't mind of having... Uh, if I had to come up with this, that would have been cool. Anyhow, I'll put a link in the description. Like I said, you can reserve for... All right, sorry, guys. I have a promotion code. I just found one. Summer 15. You get a 15% discount. So rather than a reservation costing $100, it's $85. It's also eligible for a 30% federal tax credit, 
meaning this could be quite cheap. And speaking of cheap, the price is estimated to be $3,000 in the United States, plus it's apparently going to qualify for this 30% tax reduction, meaning it's going to be, what, $2,000. This is an absolute no-brainer. And well, that's why apparently 2 million plus pre-sold in the first 45 days. Now that's $2 million plus in the first 45 days, meaning, well, they sold a lot. Don't know exactly how many. Um, this is an old ad, by the way. So by now, they probably sold even more than that. A lot of pre-sales here. A lot of EV owners are like, hell yeah, I'm going to get one of these. Uh, this price is really worth it. I mean, a lot of people say it's not worth it to get this, this stuff put on. I think it is. I think this is brilliant. This is the start of a new revolution, my friends. What do you think, though? Am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.